the brand new Steez CT from Daiwa finally arrives. Jeff's signature series swim bait rods from St. Croix. And a very special holiday box, special from the Hookup Tackle, proceeds going to charity. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to another episode of What's New at the Hookup Tackle. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. This is the segment where we break down new arrivals as well as important restocks so you guys can stay on top of the game. We are still all recovering from that uh, post Black Friday craziness of last week. So it is great to be with you guys. In fact, just talking about Black Friday makes me want to drink. Jeff, you mm. want to drink? Uh, it's water. Sunday morning. You water. want to drink? Let's do it. Water? No. What brand of water did you bring today? I brought, you know, this is a water based product. Mm. I mean, it's basically water, but it's fucking delicious water. So, cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Are you sure, Jeff? You want first wig? Water. First wig of Sunday. Water. It's 99% water. Okay. Thank you for drinking with me at home. Cheers, my friends. That's good, Jeff. Sure. It would taste better if it was just nice spring clean water from the Rockies. It really wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Let's dive in to some exciting drops for this week. So if you guys uh, flash back to last year, as a company, we did an episode where we made some goodie bags. We went around to some urban places. We passed out a bunch of goods, just, you know, being Santa, having some fun, spreading some love. And we got a lot of feedback from you guys that next time we did something uh, to please let everybody know so you guys can be a part. So it is time. It's time to spread some holiday love around this place again. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to offer something special to you guys. If you want to chip in, all the proceeds are going to go to us basically spreading love this month around our community in the fishing world. So we have put together a special staff box of goodies. This is a $99 box. It has about $125 value. It is all soft baits, but what's really cool about this is we've gone through, we've selected some of our favorite soft plastics, but we also teamed up with one of our favorite soft plastic brands, which is RoboWorm, to custom create a custom color for each staff member here at the Hookup, and I will break them down for you. This is a one-time run of these colors. They're only gonna be available in this box. Some super dope colors. So let's start here. Let's come back to our custom colors, Jeff. So in the box, you're gonna get things like, you know, Mega Bass Camaro Curlies, some Rock Hogs, some Rock Vibe Shads, uh, some Fat Rock Vibe Shads. So all kinds of soft plastics inside. And then you have 10 bags of custom color Robo worms designed from each staff member. So let's run through them really quick. And of course, let's start with the best one. Oh, do we? Right? Okay. Yeah. Otaku's seed. Any guess on uh, who made this one, Jeff? That has to be Griff's. No. Come on, man. No? Yeah. So Otaku's seed. Uh, this is a color I've always wanted in a uh, worm. It's basically, I basically took inspiration from the Reaction Innovation's Money Shot Violet and put it in a worm. So it's a nice shad color worm. It's got some violet hits to it. It's in a five and a half inch curly tail. So that is bait number one. This is Carmen's worm. This is neon goby. So this is a six inch straight tail. 
Uh, she took inspiration from the Dark Sleeper. I think it would be better if I take these out of the package here. So basically a kind of a goby-ish type bait. It's green pumpkin, it's got a blue vein, it's got a pearl belly. So just a really nice kind of goby colored worm, very natural. So that is from Carmen. JN's Semper Fi. So this is my business partner, John. He is a Marine and always wanted just a super dope color. So it is a watermelon kind of reddish base. Now this is a color that he created maybe 15 years ago, but we've never done it in a curly tail. So this is the first time it's dropping in a curly tail. Just a really nice natural green base color. Jeff, any idea who created this color? Royal Highness? Yes. That's a good color. Actually, it might be the best color. This is Jeff's color, Royal Highness. Mm -hmm. By the way, staff chose these names too. Mm -hmm. Why Royal Highness? Royalty, you know. I see. So, I see. It's so somewhere there. If you follow the Royal Highness, uh -huh. King King Jeff. St. James. You'll know that he loves the 10 inch mag draft uh, in IU. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he drew inspiration from that and created a worm to kind of have very similar tones to that. So. That color's money. Good job, dude. I it know. looks It looks super sick. This is gonna be a fun box for people to have. There's so much variety in this thing. All right, if you guys shop in store, you know the dude that we call Neck, Ethan. So this is Red Neck. Uh, he basically took a spinoff on like a desert craw. So you've got some orange, you've got some red, you've got some green pumpkin, some red flake, just a very, it's a cool craw pattern. So this will be great for you guys. We need a little color hit. All right, Julius, AKA Hippie. You guys know him as Hippie. He loves the OSP uh, Wakasagi, so he wanted to create Hippie Sagi, but <laughs> I think some lost in translation here, right? From Roboworm. Hey look, th this is their first time trying to go with some of these Japanese colors. So Hippie Sagui. Yeah, they, is they knew about Ugui. Yeah, yeah, so Hippie Sagui is uh, what we get. It was supposed to be Hippie Sagi, but you know. It's, it's close, <laughs> right? Maybe they're drinking Orion too. All right. Every time I say Orion, I have to drink. It's a Do drinking you? game. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Griff, you want one? No, I'm good. It's only you, brother. Louise? Beer? Okay. It's only you. So there you go. There's Hippie Sagui. So basically just a nice uh, bait fish, kind of walkie soggy. Uh, I almost said walkie sagui color. <laughs> just dope, kind of milky color. That'll be a great one. All right, if you guys hang out in the store, you know you know, little Jeff. He looks little because he's 17, uh, but he's our rock star. Uh, he basically does all of our grunt work, pulling, boxing, everything, but he doesn't eat anything, right? No bread, no nothing. He eats canes. He eats canes, yeah, loves canes. So we thought uh, like a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich would be good. So this color is called Kids Menu and it's actually a super dope color. So really nice kind of PB&J color. So I think you guys really like it. It's basically people's worm top with kind of a margarita mutilator bottom. So that'll be a dope one. That one is also in a curly tail. All right, and then Louise created a color, originally golden shower, but Rebel Worm didn't want to be associated with that. So this will always be a golden shower to me, Louise. But you guys are gonna get it as 24 karat gold. So basically, a chartreuse and clear type color this is going to be a smallmouth killer. It's got some gold flake inside, so it's clear with gold flake on top. It's got a pearl vein and a chartreuse bottom and chartreuse tail. So super dope color there. And then who wanted a nice natural green pumpkin color as well? So we created a basically hybrid of a morning dawn and green pumpkin and created green pumpkin dawn so basically you have a morning dawn bottom and vein and a green pumpkin red flake top uh, to kind of combine the two colors so there you go there's uh there's all the colors worth mentioning right jeff all right griff i'll give you your moment come talk about your stupid worm that's been catching all the fish here's here's griff's worm if you follow griff you know everybody's been jacking him on this stupid one here you go guy this is the one I know. All right, so my color is called Yes. You know why? Because yes. All right, so we just took a green pumpkin and added some green flake to it. That's blue flake. <laughs> we took a green pumpkin. I wanted it to be a light green pumpkin, like a dark cinnamon. Uh, and we added some green flake to it. Well, tell and put me what a, that looks. 
and put a blue vein in there. Uh, catches a lot of fish. It's proven. It's the only proven color out of this whole pack. Uh, it's been catching a ton of fish, and it's amazing. This is the one. So there you go, guys. You get one package from each of us in a custom color. You will be the first person and probably only person in your waters to have these colors. Uh, so all of these will be included in the box along with the other soft plastic. So 99 bucks is $125 value. And again, all proceeds are going to go to some great causes. We're gonna have a lot of fun this holiday season giving some really cool stuff away. So there you go, stock up. Available now, wall supplies last. All right, so Griff is talking some major smack over here. And so he just laid down a challenge and I'm gonna invite all of you guys to be a part of the challenge with us. So if you get one of these boxes with our custom colored robos, you're in the challenge. So here's the challenge. First person to post a pic catching a fish with each color. Okay, so this is probably gonna take some time. I don't know, maybe you guys can just knock it out in one day but there has to be each color hanging from the fish's mouth. It's gotta be legit, right? You can't just hang worms, right? Karma will get you if you try to cheat this. First person wins, okay? What are they gonna win, Griff? Something autographed from you? One of your stinky shirts, a hat? Jeff. Jeff we'll pick out something really special. It'll be dope. I'll, I'll make sure that it's good, okay? I won't Griff it. So uh, what's the hashtag? Hashtag Griff sucks. Hashtag everybody can beat Griff. Well, we can't put a lie in the hashtag. Hashtag Griff's Robo Challenge. Yeah. There you go. Hashtag Griff's Robo Challenge. Uh, first person to complete it wins. I will make sure you are hooked up. All right, Jeff, let's talk about some new products from Duo. So Duo Japan coming on strong, like you and I were talking about this morning. They're making some cool stuff. They're revitalizing some stuff. They are really making an attempt to penetrate hard and you know that we like that jeff so let's dive in to a cool new bait this is the realis rosante purge 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 95 what do you think purge 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 this is a super dope multi-segmented topwater wake bait gonna have a similar action to that of like a rat would now, what makes this bait unique is that each segment is connected with swivels, okay? So it's gonna give each segment a little extra movement. Instead of just moving side to side, it's also going to have the ability to pivot and swivel a little bit, giving the fish a little bit more, they're just gonna get a little more flashing out of it. They're gonna see a little more side to side. So it's got a great movement to it. It's very easy to throw. It's got a great sound. Uh, very finessey, very lifelike, super cool offering. This is not an offering that's going to be available all the time. It's a really hard bait for them to make, so they're only gonna make it in limited runs, but we're excited to have some of them here. So if you guys wanna get your hands on this and just a, a totally different, unique bait, here you go, the Purge 95F, available now from Duo. All right, so Duo is also releasing some limited batches in the Realis Pencil Popper 148. Now this is the largest freshwater walking topwater bait that they make. I brought these in because, you know, it's trout stocking time of the year. So, you know, I'm just a sucker for anything, you know, anything trout, right? So they make this really dope rainbow trout pattern in this. It's got an amazing action to it. It's got a loud movement. It's got a loud knock in it. Uh, just a great big topwater bait if you guys are looking for something different. So from Duo, there is the Realis Pencil Popper 148, available now. All right, more new items from Duo. Duo is expanding their Fang Bait line with the introduction of the Fang Bait 80DR. Now, the Fang Bait series, we've talked about it quite a few times. This is really designed uh, to be a very durable bait uh, designed for toothy fish, fish that hit hard. Just in case you ever get one of those fish that just hits so hard that potentially it could crack a bait 
all the fang baits have a through wire system. So the same wire that you're tied onto is actually running through the entire length underneath here, uh, attaching all the hooks so you never have to worry about losing that fish of a lifetime because it's always connected to the wire. What that wire also does, it gives the bait extreme stability. So it's gonna always track true. You don't have to worry about it. So uh, great new size. You can use this as a crankbait, as a jerkbait. It's really kind of that hybrid style bait. Uh, it does have a little knock in it. So, you know, it's gonna be definitely one to add to the arsenal available in some really dope colors. Let me spec it out for you guys just so you know what you're dealing with here. It is three and an eighth inch and three eighths ounce size six hook. So, you know, definitely more on the downsize, the smallest bait like this they've done in their fang ops. So excited to get this because it's really kind of in that nice fish catching size. So excited to get these two guys available now. Hey, and then going maybe the opposite direction into more of a finesse approach, we see the introduction of the Realis Minnow 80. So this is gonna be a really small finesse minnow type bait. I'll take one out for you guys. All right, so the Realis Minnow is three and an eighth inches, uh, one eighth of an ounce. Okay, and then it's a fixed weight system. So you can see, so you can see the different chambers. Each chamber is trapping either air or weights to give the bait max stability. This is a very finesse little jerk bait that's gonna be very quiet in the approach, very stealthy, probably definitely spinning rod stuff, or maybe a BFS type would be good, but this is definitely going to be something when the fish get really, really picky and you guys just need to downsize, could be a great option for you. So the Minnow 80, available now, it's available in a bunch of colors, all the standard duo colors. So those are available now. And then staying on the small bait here for a minute, we see a really big restock in the Spearhead Ryuki baits this week. So these have been really challenging to get. These are uh, definitely one of our best selling small trout slash BFS style baits. They're available in sinking, they're available in floating. The 70 MDF hasn't been available in a really long time, which is their medium dive floating bait. So if you guys have been looking for a smaller bait to try, or maybe you've been specifically looking for the spearhead baits, now is the time to look. Most of them are back in stock now. All right, while we're on duo, let's talk for a second about the hottest spoon of the season. These things have been flying off the shelves. A lot of you guys have been jacking fish. I know they've been just destroying fish around here in Arizona. So this is actually the first time that we've had all four of this line in stock at the same time. So this is the Drag Metal Cast Series from Duo. So they are available in four different models. They're available in a cast, in a shot, in a slim and in a slow. So I'm gonna break these down really quick, make sure you guys understand the difference between each one. Now really quick, they are available in three different sizes. 15 gram, which is equivalent to a half ounce, 20 gram, which is equivalent to a three quarter ounce, and 30 gram, which is equivalent to a one ounce. Okay, so you can get those three sizes in each one of these. So let's, let's break it down really quick so you understand the difference in what you're getting. So let's start right here with the drag metal cast, okay? So this is going to be basically your standard jigging spoon. This is how it comes. So it comes pre-rigged with an assist hook on the front and a treble hook on the bottom. Now, what makes these spoons different is A, you'll notice how small and compact this is. This is the 20 gram. Right, so that's a three quarter ounce spoon. So it's really small. So it's just a great one when you need to downsize but still keep the weight. The duo spoons are designed to fall horizontally versus you know just kind of flopping down, right? So if you're used to a crippled herring or something like that, you know they kind of rip up and then they just kind of fall back down, right? These are going to rip up and then they're gonna horizontally shimmy down at different speeds depending on which spoon you get. Now. You can customize all of these. So if you wanna leave the hooks on that come with them, great. If you wanna take the treble hook off and leave just the front hook, you can do that. It'll be a lot less snaggy. You can take the front hook off and leave just the treble hook. So you can do whatever you want. They're designed to fish vertically off your graph. They're designed to cast out and work like a jig, right? So just a great all around spoon. So there is the cast version. The shot version, is gonna be a slightly different body shape. So you'll notice it's kind of flat and then it kind of gets a 
bigger back side back there and it comes with a bladed treble. So this guy is just gonna give you a different look, a different fall. You can also use this guy to kind of throw and just kind of wind in. It's gonna have a really wide kind of movement and that blade's gonna flash. So this is a good kind of hybrid open water spoon. So if you're fishing them off the graph and every once in a while you see them kind of busting, this is a great option to throw in. The slim is basically going to be similar to the shot, just in a longer, thinner, slimmer version. So it's gonna have a little bit more of that minnow profile versus the flatter profile, right? So if you guys missed it, Griff was talking about these spoons in a spoon video that he did not too long ago. Jeff can leave the link here if you guys wanna learn more about how he's fishing them, what he's doing with them. So, you know, it'd be great to uh, check that out as well. But you're noticing that these colors, there's some real tones in there, right? So there's, you know, like a real shad. I think that's spotted gizzard right? So just some great colors as well. And then finally, this is the drag metal cast slow. Now the slow is built as an asymmetrical body. So you notice it's flat on one side and round on the other side. And you'll notice that it comes standard with just these assist hooks. And these hooks hook them so well. And it's so much less snaggy with these single hooks than it is the treble, right? So play with them and experiment. The idea with the asymmetrical body is that as it has that horizontal fall, it falls slower versus the other ones that are gonna have a faster fall. So if you want the bait to have a little more air time, a little more hanging in there, go with the slow version. If you want to get down there faster, then go with the cast version. So hopefully that helps. All the colors, all the sizes, everything is available now from Duo. So make sure you stock up while they are available. They're not always available. Excited that you guys are jacking on them. Available now from Duo. All right, guys. New-ish this week from Ryugi. And I say new-ish because we've had these before, but it's literally been two years since Ryugi has made any of these. So super excited to get these back. The most expensive A-Rig that we carry, but it is so dope. This is the Ryugi R Vanguard. Now, this is a custom-built, handmade A-Rig. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. It's a $70 A-Rig, Jeff. It's crazy expensive, but this A-Rig performs <laughs> differently than any other rig. I'm right there with you, dude. I'm laughing. It's ridiculous. Griff rigged one of these things up yesterday or the day before, and by the time you put the heads and the baits and everything, he was $113 in his A-Rig, right? So is it getting out of control? Absolutely. Is it super dope? Absolutely. So I'll walk you through it, because if you're ridiculous like we are, you, you're probably gonna want this thing. So we're all A-Rig junkies. So Jeff, spending 70 on an A-Rig is no different than you spending 400 on a mother. I think you're ridiculous. You think I'm ridiculous. We are both ridiculous. Here's the difference and, between you and I though. Yes, this is when, the difference between you and I. <laughs> body by Orion, normally, body by water. When you snag a lure, you just break it off. I've seen you and Griff do that. When I snag a mother, you bet your ass I'm trying to unsnag it either with a bait knock or I'm swimming for it. I don't think you're going to go swimming for that. I'll I'm probably swimming for this one, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Most air rigs, I don't care. Let me just break it off. This one, we're going back. Hey, Griff. Yeah. How many of these did you lose the other day? Those? Yeah. Because you went back for it, didn't you? Every single time. Yeah. So this is changing our mindset, Jeff. We're not losing this one. Yeah. Regular air rig? Right? I spent 20 minutes getting that thing out of the tree. Of course you did. Yeah. yeah, nobody wants to lose this. So, you know who does want you to lose this, Jeff? Ryugi. And I'll get to the point here in a second. Okay, so let's talk about the rig instead of how ridiculous we are for a minute. So, are you happy with your purchase? It's dope. It's super dope. It's super dope. Yeah. Right? So, here, don't just take it from me. Come come in. Let's, here, you want to sit on my lap? No, here, you can have the seat. We'll save that for another For, for Christmas? Thing. Yeah, well, that's a Christmas episode. Yeah, buy the box, get to see Griff sit on Ben's lap. Yes. Okay. That wasn't bad. That was great. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> We're going to sell so out now. Boom, there you go, guys. Everything you ever wanted to know about the RV and Garden. Yeah, sell out So now. check it out. These are all handmade in Japan. There's some amazing hardware going on here, right? So every arm is going to have three blades, right? So there's a combination of gold and silver Ryugi blades there. Each one is welded in place, so you're never going to you know, lose where that blade is on the wire. 
You've got some really great swiveling action going on here, and then every bait is also swiveled, and this is important, okay? So each one of these arms is a swiveled arm. So as you pulse this thing, right, this is super heavy gauge wire. So the wire really does not bend, so you can boat flip fish, it's got crazy durability, it's really heavy gauge, but how they made up to still allow the bait to flex is by putting these swivels at the end of each arm. When you pop it or you turn that handle, the baits move different. The arms aren't flexing, the baits are flexing. So the rig is actually staying very stable, but just the baits are pulsing. So it's giving a different look than what anybody else is throwing out there, which is pretty dope. Now you'll notice in the middle here, there's a open snap, right? This is actually designed, you can put whatever you want here, you can add another blade if you want, but it's designed to attach a weight. So it's designed to attach a drop shot weight. So if you want the rig to sink deeper, it will pull it down to the bottom. This is what I was getting at when I said Ryugi wants you to lose them. So if you guys wanna put this down into 70, 80 feet, attach yourself a big weight down there, it will pull it down there. And you don't have to play with giant jig heads. You can just use the standard jig heads. You can beat the bank. You can pull out off a point and be like, oh, man, I wish I had one that sunk a little bit faster. You can attach a little quarter ounce or three eighth ounce drop shot weight on there and it will pull it down there and have the same swimmability. They custom designed snaps on this thing. So these are quick snaps. So they're super easy to attach your baits. I mean, literally you could rig an A-rig in seconds and they're incredibly strong. They will not open on you either. So, is it worth 70 bucks? I don't know, to me it is. It comes in this beautiful box. So, I think it's pretty dope. Griff thinks it's dope. Jeff thinks we're crazy. But if you guys have been waiting, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting because it's been so long since we've had them. They are available now. Again, it's super limited supply. I ordered everything they were willing to make, but once they're gone, it will probably be a long time again before they're back. So there you go, the R Vanguard from Ryugi, available now. All right, Jeff, how about some swim baits? Thank God, dude. All right, so we have in the burrito baits. So a lot of you guys have been asking, these have been here, we just haven't had time to unbox them, inventory them, get them online. Well, this is the week. So if you guys aren't familiar with, I think everybody's familiar with burritos at this point, right? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, maybe not. So this is a collab between Burrito Baits and Mike Buka. They are working together to bring these out. So basically these are, these are a silicone bait, right? So silicone is just gonna have a different action. It's a super durable material, much more durable than a plastic. So they're gonna last an incredibly long time. Even though these look very simple in design, they have an amazing action underwater. They thump so hard. Uh, this is just a proven bait that's been out on the market. Guys absolutely crush them on these things. They're a six inch size. So we asked them just to send us every color. I didn't realize that every color meant literally like 28 different colors. So there are so many color versions of this. Get online, you can check them all out. Anything from you know straight like white with silver flake to Griff calls this like hairy shad because of these weird flakes. There's carp colors, there's black colors, there's bones, there's even this glow in the dark one that comes with a flashlight that you light up and then it causes it to glow. So, you know, all kinds of colors on there. Again, they're relatively expensive. They're in that $40 price range, but they're gonna be incredibly durable. Uh, they're not gonna tear like a traditional soft plastic bait. So if you guys have been waiting on them or just looking for an alternative, just an easy to throw six inch bait that jacks them, the burritos are available now. All right, while we're on swim baits, let's talk about some quick restocks from Mega Bass. A lot of you guys have been waiting on mag drafts. Six inch mag drafts return in a lot of colors, not all colors. So, you know, albino pearl shad still missing, whiteback shad still missing, but we see a restock in some key ones like MSS, silver shad, and more. So if you guys have been waiting on those, those are available. We do see the full line restock in mag draft freestyle. So if you guys have been waiting on IU or Trout, uh, Gizzard, Whiteback Shad, Brownie, Albano Pearl Shad, all of the six inch Magdraft freestyles return this week. So this is a great time to scoop those up. 
We also see a huge restock this week in SV3 spinner baits, uh, and specifically the double willow. So three eighths, half ounce, five eighths, almost all the colors are back, the Japan colors, the US colors, you know, the white pythons, cotton candy, the fire reds. So if you guys have been waiting on spinner baits, this is a great time to stock up uh, while there is availability. Those are available now. All right, then we also see a full restock this week from Mega Bass in the Vision 110 Junior. So a lot of you guys have been waiting on Juniors. All the colors, all the core colors come back in those. They also resupplied us with the final batch of the Respect Series color in the Hakusai and the Dorado. So if you guys uh, missed out on either of those in the Junior, those are back as well. We also see the Junior in the plus one version return in all colors. So, you know, Spawn, Cherry, Northern Secret, all those colors uh, return this week as well. And then a huge restock in 110s and 110 Silence, including probably the hottest color of the last six months. This is SBOB Shad. Now, ever since we've talked about this color and how cool it is, it's been it basically sold out of Mega Bass and they haven't had any supply in a while. So this is the first time in, in months that it's been back in both the 110 and the silent version. If you guys aren't familiar with the SBOB Shad, I think everybody is now. This is just one of the cooler color tones. It's a very clear, natural uh, shad based color. And you can see it's a clear belly, but as it flashes, you get that little just faint orange hit that's actually painted on the underside of the back. So just a really cool bait. Uh, gives you the color and the triggering colors with still a very natural profile. So if you guys have been waiting for that to return, those are back in stock now. All right, a couple of important restocks from Depths this week. We see a full resupply in the Evoke series. So Evoke 2.0s, 1.2s, 1.8s all return. We dropped a couple of Evoke videos this week just talking about how much we love these things. It's an amazing crankbait. I won't beat you guys over the head with it. Uh, you can definitely check those out if you want to learn more about those. Just go back to uh, Wednesdays and Fridays drop. But it's an amazing crankbait. Comes through cover effortlessly. So excited to get the colors, especially Black Shad. Some of these gill colors back Back in stock that have been out for a while. So those return from depths. And we also see a Slide Swimmer 115 restock this week. All the key colors, your Wakasagis, your Baby Bass, your Butch Brown American Shad, all return this week from depths. Now, if you have been following depths and their Instagram page, you will know that there's some new Slide Swimmer 250 colors coming. Those will be in next weekend. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking about cover scats. We are hoping to have them for this week's drop. The truck broke down or something on the way here, some kind of emergency transportation problem. So we are gonna drop those early next week. So if you are a cover scat fan, if you have been waiting, this is the a huge shipment coming, okay? It's been months since they've been in. So pay attention to our Instagram. That's why we drop it. Uh, we are gonna drop it there probably Tuesday, okay? Tuesday, Wednesday, cover scats will be in. They are gonna fly out, so make sure you're paying attention, okay? So those will be coming this week. All right, let's jump over to reels really quick. We've been uh, highly anticipating this reel. Been super stoked to get this in ever since we got to test the final R&D samples. This is the brand new Daiwa Steez CT SV T-Wing. So this is the brand new edition. This is a reel that in my opinion, is a really important reel in their line. Now, Daiwa uh, will say this is the flagship Steez. It's inexpensive, it's a $700 Steez, right? It's expensive. Uh, it is very finely tuned. The new version is basically getting all the new hyperdrive system in it. So it's getting the new gearing, it's getting the new casting. Uh, it also gets a bigger handle. So if you guys remember back to the old Steez CT, it had a small little handle and just felt like you were kind of fishing a toy. This one's gonna get a full 90 millimeter handle. It feels like a full size reel, even though it's a small compact reel. Now the importance of these small compact reels is as rod technology gets farther and farther ahead, rods are getting thinner and lighter, and you put a full-size reel on a lot of them, it just feels like it's all reel and no rod. So this just balances and matches some of these lighter rods. If like you pick up most of like a Destroyer P5, for instance, right? 
you need a little reel to balance the whole combo. This still gives you all the strength and castability of a full size reel just in a compact package. So it's available in righty and lefty, seven to one and eight to one. So super stoked to get them in. I don't expect the first batch to last very long. A lot of people have been waiting on the arrival of these guys. So if that's you, definitely scoop them up while you can. The brand new Steez CT from Daiwa available now. And while we are on Daiwa, we see a small limited return of the Tatula SVT wing limited. So you guys remember this dropped, I don't know, maybe six, eight weeks ago. Uh, this is the limited edition Tatula. Daiwa didn't come anywhere close to fulfilling the amount that we had asked for. So they promised that they would get us whatever they could scrape us together this month with whatever they had left. It's not big numbers, but if you guys missed out, definitely jump on. You might be able to pick one of these up. It's basically just a custom built Tatula. It's a beautiful, it's got, you know, shiny silver. It's got that super dope, you know, carbon fiber handle. It's got the Zion knobs. It's just super tricked out. It looks dope. So if you guys missed out or want to pick up another one, if you grabbed one already, now is the time. This will be more than likely the last batch we see. So the Tatula Limited available now while supplies last. <clears throat> so let's jump over to rods and let's start for a minute. I want to talk about a rod that has come in and this is a perfect example, right? This is a uh, destroyer carbon head. It's small, it's light. If you put a normal 150 size reel on here, it would just feel ridiculous. You put the little Steez CT reel on there, do it, it feels amazing, right? So this is definitely a reel that a lot of you guys are going to definitely love for your lighter rods. Now, let's talk about this rod for a minute. This is a super dope rod. This is uh, from Mega Bass in the Destroyer lineup. It's available in both the Japan Destroyer and the Carbon Head. This is the Eliminator, not the Eliminator. The Eliminator. Eliminator. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this is just a really dope rod. It's 6'3". It's an F4, so it's quarter to three quarter ounce lure rating for a 6'3 rod, right? So it's gonna have the same lure rating as all of their other jerkbait rods. So if you look at like the 110 Special, Jerkbait Special, all that, it's the same lure rating. And basically it's designed to be that. It's designed to be a jerkbait slash small little crankbait slash small walking topwater bait, but in a 6'3 package. So if you want a shorter rod for shore fishing, kayak fishing, whatever it is that demands you have a smaller compact package, this is a really dope rod. It's beautiful looking, it's really fun. So those are available now. Okay, also back in stock from Mega Bass Japan, we see a return in one of our most popular models in the TS Destroyer. This is the king of Baccarat. Now this is a seven, eight, three to 15 ounce lure rating rod. This is our second most popular rod in the TS Destroyer lineup. The Blackjack uh, that we talk about all the time is definitely our most popular rod and that's an amazing one for throwing that you know two to six ounce glide bait, right? It's parabolic, it's 7-11, it's just a great all-around rod. The King of Baccarat is like the next level rod or a great soft bait rod. So if you're throwing things like Citizens, Battle Shads, you know, Mag Drafts, that kind of stuff, this could be a great one for it. What's nice about the King of Baccarat instead of the regular Baccarat is that it's got the longer grip back here. So if you really need to have that two-handed grip, it's gonna throw like a big swim bait rod should, but it's only seven eight, so you don't have this huge rod to manage. So a lot of you guys have been waiting on it. It's definitely a great one to scoop up. So there you go. If you've been waiting on the King of Baccarat, they are available in limited quantities, and this is more than likely probably the last we're gonna see of this until summer, unfortunately. So definitely don't sit around and wait. If you've been on the fence, scoop them up, available now. And really quick, I forgot to mention, we see a huge restock this week in PB rats, both in two piece and three piece. A lot of you guys have been looking for rats. Almost all of the colors return in both. So if you guys have been looking for just amazing rats, we talk about this one all the time, so I'm not gonna beat it over the head. It's got an amazing sound, it casts great, and the fish just chomp it. So if you guys have been waiting, definitely take a look. You can see all the colors there, browns, bones, grays, blacks, pinks, everything back in stock now from PB Rat. All right, now I need to drink before talking about this segment, Joe. Mm. So, the cause of all my gray hairs. Absolutely. Yes. Right here. 
G Loomis NRX Plus. Wow. Okay. I never this, thought. This has been a shit show, right? So first of all, anybody that pre-ordered from us, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, we are almost through everything. So we see an arrival of some key models this week. And I was really hoping to hate these after mm. everything that Shimano and Loomis has kind of sucked at this year. Mm -hmm. But damn it, they're good. So let's talk about them real quick. So let's start right here. This is the 894 NRX Plus. So, you know, the 894 has been regarded as the best all around jig rod really in the market ever since it's been a thing. It's, this one is, it's perfect. The action is exactly right. Uh, you're gonna get the Spiralx technology, so you're gonna get a lighter rod that's stronger. It's gonna basically accomplish everything you guys want to accomplish with a 3 8 half ounce football jig up to 5 8 ounce. It'll start getting a little squishy up at that three quarter, especially after you put a trailer on. But if you guys are fishing full size football jigs, larger Texas rigs, that kind of stuff, the 894 is money. So those are available now. We also see the 843C MBR arrive in stock. So this is in their mag bass line. This is an amazing jerk bait rod. So if you think back to the old MBRs, they, the 843 was almost too squishy to throw like a 110 and then the 844 was almost a little too stiff, right? So they kind of fought with each other and there's a lot of like in between things that didn't really work. This 843 is highly refined. So this is going to be a perfect jerkbait rod for a 110 pointer 100. Great walking topwater bait for something like a gunfish, giant dog X, that type of stuff. It's got just the perfect amount of tip. So it's going to bend just slightly more than a jig and worm, but it doesn't bend deep through the blank like the old one did. So you got a lot more power now with that Spiral X. So if you guys have been looking for just a great you know, walking, jerking rod from Loomis. This is definitely going to be the one the 843 is in. And then a rod that I've always hated in the Loomis lineup, the 822 DSR is really dope. So I didn't want to say that, but I've got to say it. They've totally changed the rod. They've changed how it bends, where it bends. So, you know, historically, this has been a model that's just been a noodle and it hasn't had the game that a true drop shot rod should have. They totally changed the bend of this rod now. So now you'll notice that it's basically a fast action. It's all the bend is at the tip and then it's got nothing but backbone down here. It's not bending like a noodle like the old ones. So it's crisp, it's light. It's going to be such a better rod than any of its predecessors. So excited to get these in. So if you guys have been waiting for a great drop shot rod in the NRX Plus line, those are available now as well. All right, let's jump over to St. Croix. Some new offerings, also a super important restock to tell you guys about. A lot of you guys have been waiting for the 7.4 medium heavy glass, legend glass rod to return. Uh, this is back in stock finally. This one, best of show at iCast a couple years ago as their true chatterbait rod. It is just a beautiful bend for, if you guys are throwing a jackhammer or chatterbait, anything like this. Uh, this is an amazing glass option. It's super light. It's got all the power you need in a full glass rod. So those are back. All right, Jeff, you ready to talk about swim baits? Mm -hmm. Okay. So does this rod look familiar to you? Oh, dude. These look? The ones, the prototype ones from St. Croix. Yeah. So Jeff and I uh, were asked by St. Croix to help them kind of fine tune and tweak some new swim bait rods in the victory line. Right. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, line. even their uh, even their coding on their demos were, you know, victory codes. Well, when we get to ICAST, we were shocked when we picked up the rods. We're like, what? these aren't this isn't what we did. What did they do to these rods? Right. And come to find out. Yeah, they scammed us. They were actually having us help them with Bass X. OK, now this is crazy that I would say this about any brand, but for $150 and lower price rod, these are actually pretty sweet swim bait rods. So excited to bring this out. It's the brand new line of swim bait rods from St. Croix in the Bass X series. There are three of them, okay? So this is, they're all 710. This is the extra heavy fast. 
Here, let me spec it out. So the extra heavy fast is 14 to 80 pound, two to five ounce, okay? This one is the double extra heavy, so this is a four to eight ounce, okay? And then this guy here is just the heavy, so this is gonna be the three quarter to three ounce. So just depending on what you need out of a rod. But what's dope about this is that all of these are parabolic through the middle. So they're all gonna be good like glide bait rods, you know, treble hook rods. So if you guys are looking for like a 250 rod, dude, for 150 bucks, the action is right. What, what say you about these rods, Jeff? Swim bait, Royal Highness. Uh, for hard baits, for if you're looking for a cheaper rod, the blanks are right. They load really well, they cast baits great, you're not gonna be tired, like they got the actions just right. But yeah, so they're they're built well, the blanks are right. Now, look, I don't wanna sugarcoat anything, it's still a pretty inexpensive rod, right? So you're not gonna get a lot of the super technical, you know, things. So even like on the guides, the first two guides are double foot, and then the rest of the guides are insertless guides, right? So they're a cheaper guide frame, right? You've got, you know, it's not like there's Fuji components, these are gonna be you know, made in Mexico at the St. Croix factory in Mexico, right? But they're still gonna come with the great St. Croix warranty and the actions are right. So if you guys are looking for an inexpensive way to get into hard baits, I think you guys are really gonna dig this line from St. Croix. So the Bass X swim bait series, all three models are in stock now. Okay, so let's jump in to some brand new models now in the Victory line. So this is the official launch of all the other models in Victory. Now, Victory came out early this year as St. Croix's $199 made in the USA, full St. Croix warranty, everything thrown at this $199 price point. And they promised us a big expansion, I think 15 models or 16 models add to the line this week. So lots of really dope models. Definitely check them out if you are a fan of Victory. Let's start with the swim bait line. Now, I'm not sure why St. Croix chose to do this. They put parabolic actions in the Bass X. So if you guys are looking for a hard bait swim bait rod, you're gonna wanna look at that Bass X. In the Victory, they're all fast. So these are gonna be great for soft baits. They're really fast for hard baits, okay? So this is gonna be more of a Citizen Balshad HUD, like, you know, they're, they're fast and powerful. But they, the same models are available. There's a heavy, there's an extra heavy and there's a double extra heavy in the swim bait line from St. Croix. And again, at a $200 price point, you're getting a lot of bang for the buck, right? Now, let's talk about some of the regular models. Again, it's a huge line, I'm not gonna bore you, but I figured I'd just pull a couple things out here and show you. So this is a 710 Max Cranker, which is dope because we need more you know, parabolic bending, you know, deep crankbait rods on the market. So here's a great one at $200. You guys can scoop that up. It's got the long full cork grip. A great rod for the deeper cranks. Here is a 7.1 medium fast. Uh, this is finesse spinning. So just a great all around multi-purpose spinning rod from them. You can see the styling. So cool there. Uh, here's another spinning. This is the Max Tactical, and a lot of you guys have been excited about this. It's just a 7.3 medium, extra fast tip. So kind of do everything, a little bit longer rod, great for drop shot tubes all around you. So those are available now. We see a mid cranker. So this is a 7.10 heavy. So you can stay in that 7 foot 10 that you had in the Max Crank, but just get a little bit lighter rod, still gonna be parabolic through the middle section, but for a 710 rod, instead of going to a full glass, because I know a lot of you guys don't like glass, right? This is too cumbersome, too clunky. Here you go, Jeff, 710 crank is sick. You can see it's super light, right? So again, designed for more the mid crank, right? So that's gonna be more of like you're casting off a long point with a rock crawler, Deep X 200, something like that. So, you know, there's, there's lots of options in the line now. There's also some jerk baits. Uh, there's also a chatterbait rod in the line here. So 7.2 heavy, it's called the Rip and Chatter. Uh, so again, designed to give you a little bit more backbone uh, for a heavier chatterbait. So definitely check it out for $200 made in the USA, amazing warranty from St. Croix. Excited to get the rest of the lineup in from Victory. Those are available now. 
All right, and then real quick, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about Mega Bass Trizer rods. This is the three-piece travel rod from Mega Bass. Uh, definitely an amazing rod. I've mentioned to you guys before that Trizas are going to become an issue. They're having some major production issues on the Trizas. We are not going to see the full line of Triza back in stock till probably fall of next year. So as we get some drops, I'm gonna let you guys know. So Grills returns this week. Stem Politis, which is one of our most popular, it's a seven foot uh, medium heavy back in stock. So if you guys have been waiting on any of these trizes, definitely check out what's available. Again, when they sell through, it's gonna be fall before we see another restock. So definitely don't sit on these. If you guys have been waiting, definitely scoop them up. Those are back this week from Japan. Mega Bass, Japan. Time to drink, Jeff. All right, guys, well, that is it for this week. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you for the business on behalf of everybody here. We, we really appreciate uh, everything you guys do for us, so thank you very much. I know we should probably just end on the one thing everybody wants one last look at, and that is my seed. You're welcome, Jeff. <clears throat> Why is it that color? What do you mean? It's literally... Uh, Colored after my seed. Yeah, with a little bit of violet. Yeah, where's the violet? I think you should see a doctor if your seed looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> Girls like it. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Have a great weekend, everyone. I just lost Jeff. Cheers to you. Thank you for hanging out. Until next Sunday. Peace out, my friends. Happy Sunday. You know you want my seed, Jeff. Girls. <laughs>